have another unboxing for you today. Uh, this is a spooky box. That's the name of the box. It's part of a company called the Spooky Box Club. I'll include the link below for you to find out more about them. Um, since this was a spooky box, I thought I would invite my friend here, Larry, to join me with this for this unboxing. He might enjoy some of the things in the box. So, uh, Spooky Box, they are um, in, let me see, West Yorkshire, the United Kingdom. That's where the boxes are packaged and sent out from. So, I live in the States, and I do pay a little bit extra to get the box here in the States. They charge, uh, I think it's 13 45 pounds. Um, and then the boxes themselves are 21 pounds. And so that converts into U.S. dollars to about $32. So 21 converted to U.S. would be $32. And then um, altogether, I think I paid for this box. It came out to about $50, 50 plus dollars. So it is a little bit pricey. Um, the items that I'm expecting to see in here are really unique, and they should be tailored to my tastes. So, I will see if it's worth it or not. I've only purchased the one. I don't know yet if I'm going to keep my subscription. Um, so, the box that I got is called The Fortune Teller. So, there's a little sticker that shows what this box is. And this was the May box. So we're in July now. I purchased this box at the end of May. It was May 25th. They, uh, they charged me in June, and then they shipped out the box on June the 15th. I just got it today. So, you know, this is coming across these. I don't have a problem with waiting, you know, a little while for the box, but... Um, you know, that's just how international shipping is. Anything that you get across seas, it's going to take a little bit longer. So, just to let y'all know about that. And so, I showed you the little sticker there. If you see the box, it's a nice little, it's a purple cardboard box. This is how it came in the mail. Um, it has all the, you know, the stickers on here. The, it's fragile. It's, it's got the Royal Air Mail. And then on the back, it has their address, the Spooky spooky Box Club. So, I'm really excited about this box. And then let's see what's inside. So, okay. There's a lot of cards and stuff kind of falling out there. Um, the box inside is black, and it's got, oops, it's got bats, lilac, purple bats on it. And if you can see inside the box, that's what it looks like. Like I said, there's there's papers um, falling out all over the place. So it looks like they give you a little card that tells you everything that's in here. And it says at the bottom, I hope you love your ghoulish goodies. We helped raise money for the Alzheimer's Society this month. Thank you, Sarah. That's really cute. So that's the card. Um, and what it has on there. I don't want to, like, spoil anything, so I'm not going to read the card, but let's just start pulling things out. This is interesting. The Mystic Palm Istry. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Palmistry Roach. That's really cool. It says limited edition, handmade for Spooky Club Box. And it's a pen. And it has the palm with all the little symbols on there. I don't, I don't know anything about the fate lines and everything, but I think this is really cool. It has the Mount of Venus. It's got your lifeline, the fate line, the health, the heart, the head, and all the symbols up here. I think that's really awesome. I don't know where I'm going to put it. The next thing in here is a fortune teller printed patch. Uh, it says, do not remove from package until ready to sew on. 
That's really cool. It's just a black patch with silver, shiny silver. It's got the, the ball, and it just says fortune teller. That's really cute. If I keep getting these boxes, um, there's another box I subscribe to. It's called Black Box. I'm waiting for that one to come. It should be here soon. I'm thinking that it'll probably have little patches and stuff like this. It would be really cool to just make like a big collage of them. I don't know. I haven't. Uh, maybe I'll go out there and look on Pinterest or something to see different ideas to do with patches. But that's awesome. All right. This is in a little. Looks like cards. It's in a little purple pouch. I love these little pouches too. And if you haven't guessed, I have my purple and my purple necklace and everything. Purple is my favorite, favorite color. So let's look at this paper here. These are Zenner cards. They're plain instructions. The Zenner cards may be played by one or two people. Each deck consists of 25 cards made up of five sets of each of the symbols seen above. So there's your symbols. I've never heard of this before. It says, if practicing alone, shuffle the deck thoroughly, keep the deck of cards facing down, and concentrate. Pick a symbol in your mind, and then turn the card over to see how well you predicted the answer. Work your way through the entire deck, as it will help your cognitive skills to develop. Place the cards you guessed correctly in one pile, the cards you guessed incorrectly in another. Suggest you write down the number of right and wrong answers each time you play. Doing so will help you chart your progress over time. That's cool. Um, there's also the instructions on there how to play with more than one person. I won't read those, though. Let's take a look at these. It says telepathy and clairvoyancy test on here. I don't know if I showed you the box, but that's the box. And then here are the cards. They're a nice purple color. There's the Z again, the little guy. And then the cards just have, you know, the plus sign, the zero, the wavy, the star on there. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know how clairvoyant I am or telepathic, but try that out. That's an interesting, like, um, you know, just a, something to bring up out with the friends or something. Pull it out of your bag and be like, hey, let's see how telepathic y'all are. Look some more. This is a black, it's a black bag. There's nothing in here. Um, I wonder if this might be, well, I don't know. Um, I thought maybe this could be to hold your cards. Um, let me take a quick look. Uh, it looks like it's a tarot card bag. That's what I was thinking. So, it's probably not for these. Let's see what else is in here. Okay. So, this is a DIY crystal ball ring project. Create and customize your own handmade ring. And it has contents, adjustable ring ball, sorry, adjustable ring band, a crystal ball dome ready to fill, tube of jeweler's glue, and one toothpick. It's got instructions inside. So, you see the glue. Uh, this is like super glue. Oh, this is actually the E6000 clear medium. Um, this is an industrial strength glue. I, I love this glue. I get this from Hobby Lobby, and I use it for a lot of things. It's a lot better than... Um, what's it called? Like super glue? It it holds a lot better. I think the bond is really good. Uh, so let's just. I want to see what's in this little pouch. Just curious. 
So there's the ring holder. And then it has your little crystal ball. And um, I'm not sure what you fill it with. Is there more in here? No, that's it. I thought it came with like little jewelers, but I don't know. Instructions. Uh, okay, so you can choose to fill the glass dome with whatever you like. Uh, there's a few suggestions. Sand from a favorite beach party, dried flowers from a wedding bouquet, colorful seed beads, dandelion clocks, tiny seashells, uh, starfish glitter, ceramic decorations. So you can pretty much put anything you want in there. That's really cool. I'll have to really think about what I want to put in there. Uh, I have no ideas right now. I have no idea what I would do. So that's, that's really cool. Okay. So let's see. These are little, those are cute. Those are little, um, stickers, nail stickers. If y'all haven't seen, I love to do my nails. And so any kind of stamp or sticker, I love. They've just got little cute spiders and ghosties and little spider webs. That's adorable. So, this is beautiful. This is a really pretty green color. And... Opening it up what the outside looks like. It looks like it kind of has some Asian design to it. It's a really sturdy, it's so pretty. The embroidery, not embroidery, but I mean the design is beautiful. And it's a nice satin. Uh, let's see, and it just has, there's a lot of little compartments. There's zippers inside of here. Like there's three different zippers, and then it's got a little, a little ball right here where you can close this. I'm not sure though what I would put on there though. Um, it's an oriental silk jewelry row. That's really cool. So I'm assuming this is probably to put your rings on, and then you clip it. Um, so you put your rings on there and then you'll clip it here. This is really pretty. I love this. And I know, I know I mentioned earlier, you know, purple is my favorite color, but this green and the gold on here is so pretty. That's, that's really, really pretty. So anytime I'm taking a trip, I have something to put my jewelry in, which is nice because I know I've had times when um, I've taken my my gauge, my earrings that are a little bit bigger and that are made from like shell or bone or glass. They've shattered before. They've broken in my luggage. And so it will be really nice to put them in here. Also my necklaces too so they don't get, um, they don't get, you know, so they don't get tangled and knotted up. Here's the next thing I pulled out. It looks like a nice little quartz on a chain. I love my. There we go. That's so pretty. I I always keep a piece of quartz with me like by my computer and stuff. I I do think that you know stones like this have some kind of healing healing properties, you know. Even if it's for just my benefit, I I really like them and I do feel that they, you know, give energy and they have different purposes. And the quartz is one that I do keep by my computer and it's usually at work, my computer at work, because usually if I have a, 
just a stressful day and there's just a whole bunch of negative energy, I feel that, you know, the quartz, because it's cloudy, it'll absorb some of that at least. Um, but I absolutely love this. And you can see the chain that I'm wearing now. This is perfect. Perfect for me. So I'll put this back in the bag. I don't have a quartz necklace like this. Um, I know I have, I have one quartz that's wrapped in copper wire, but I don't have one just like this. So that's, that's nice. I can add to my collection. And there's a lollipop. It's a green swirly lollipop. I think they put one of these in every box. Um, this one is a spearmint lollipop rainbow. That's awesome. It's a good size, too. It's not like one of those huge ones that you get at, like, Fiesta Texas or, you know, Disney World, where it's just, like, impossible to eat. That's cool. I'll save that for later. Let's see. This is Fortune Teller Miracle Fish. And it's just, it's a plastic bag. And on the back, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Um... But it says, plays fish in palm of the hand, and its movements will indicate, let's see, uh, moving head, moving tail, you know, the head and tail are moving together, if the sides start to curl, if it turns over, it's been motionless, um, it'll tell, it's like a little fortune thing, it, the fortune mood rings. And so it'll be, it'll tell you if you're jealous or indifference or in love, fickle, false. Maybe two of those. That's cool. That's, I've never seen this one before. That's awesome. And, see that till the end. And there's, I just noticed there's little purple, purple stars in my box. Cute. So, this covered in some lilac ribbon. There's two in here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, do I have it upside down? Nope. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I had it upside down. <laughs> um, it's a nice, it's not canvas material, it's a nice thick bag though, and it has the Ouija board on it. You just have your yes and no, and the little skulls, and your alphabet, and your goodbye at the bottom. That's cool. And it has the zipper on the bottom of it there. I'm going to lay this over here on Leroy for now. I don't know if they, yeah, it says a custom, a uh, luxury custom made pair of Ouija board cushion covers. Oh my god, that's even better. I thought it was like a bag, which it makes sense now because there's no handles, but, uh, I'm going to have to go find pillows for these because, oh my god. These are also going to get covered in my cat hair, but I don't care. They're going in my bed. That is super, super cool. So, let me fold that back. That over there. And then they just, they have a little thank you card that they put in at the end. So, I actually think... Um, this is probably worth it. it. It's worth the $50 that I paid for shipping and everything and actually waiting for it. And I'm, I think it's worth it. There's a lot of really pretty, unique things in here that I don't think I would find, you know, just out and about. Um, I'm really excited about the ring. I love this hand. Looking at it, it's just, it's so cool. That's just so cool. So, I think I'll probably keep my subscription for now. We'll get another box and see kind of what the theme is and how that one goes. And I'll, of course, I'll share that with you as well. 
so in here there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There was ten items. Um, so yeah, I think I think I may be falling in love with Spooky Box. So I'll definitely let you know next box I get in. I'll put the link down into the description below if you're interested in checking out the Spooky Box Club. They do also sell uh, separate items on their website. So it's possible, I, I'm not 100% sure, but if you wanted to go out and just purchase the, the like cushion covers, you probably can. Um, I know they have other like specialty boxes. I think they have... Um, Oh, I don't remember the name of it. It's called like a ghoul box or something. And it tells you exactly what you're going to get in there, all the items that are in there. That one I think is 35 pounds. Um, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. So, so that's all I have today. Um, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Bye.